Those are called tires. Yeah. And the top and bottom? The top, top and bottom. bottom. Yeah. Both of them have them. And it should be a, should be a crown. <laughs> Most bandsaws no flat. Much um, have a crown in the tires. So the tension, I, I, I pulled that up till it was tight. So you don't pay attention to this? I, I do, but I don't. I don't take a lot of stock in them. Ballpark it. Ballpark. That's all it is. That's it. Ballpark. So this, snug, this is a better gauge here then? Yep. Yeah. I snug this rascal up and it's just about as tight as I can get it. So I know on some of the uh, log cutting band saws, the tension on those blades are five to seven thousand pounds. Good. good yeah, they're good. extremely tight. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. God. There's also a flutter test that a lot of people do. I, I don't do it. But they, they say when you're setting up your bandsaw, you open up your guides, top and bottom, turn it on, and you tighten the tension until the blade quits fluttering, and it'll finally get still. And, yeah. and so I'm getting you, a little you fluttering. You can look at it one. here and see it doing it. Yeah. yeah, it'll yeah. flutter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll show you that in just a second. Okay. Uh, now, top and bottom have guides. So there's a set of guides for the mm -hmm. sides of the blade here. And then there's one back here, it's a thrust bearing, yeah. that as you apply pressure to the blade, it's going to rub against the thrust bearing to yeah. keep it from going back. So when I, when I uh, adjust these, and I, I misadjust them, I took them out of adjustment so we can adjust them and go back through and then we'll cut something on them. Okay. Uh, yeah. I like at the I, bottom, I at, at the bottom of the gullet the of the tooth, which is the, not the sharp part, but down there at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I try to bring that out either either the, the guys just behind that or right at it. But if you get too far, you take the set out of your blade and you ruin your blade. Oh, oh really? Yeah. That's good to know. So <laughs> too far. Yeah, man, that's it. You gotta protect that you gotta protect that blade because there's not a whole not lot of set in these things. Okay. But there's some. So the front of the guide goes to the back of the gullet. Yeah. Yes. Basically, so as long as you got that out front, you're okay. You're, you're good to go because now you're not rubbing that that tooth on anything. Yeah. Okay. So, and and this one's a little trick getting it in. You got a, a pin here that because of the split in the table, so you can get your blade in. It's nice to have that in there. It keeps the, the table even. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Without that, if you didn't have that in there or lost it and just did without, would your table? Move and close up. You know, I don't go this so, way more yeah, likely. It would, yeah. It's going to be unstable. So, oh, okay. Yeah. If you if you are missing yours, no, you, no make no. one. Oh, okay. You, I just wondered you, what it was for. You can make one. Now this has got a taper to it, so it goes in and, and locks in place. But um, most of them do. Yeah. But I had a bandsaw that that didn't have it, and I found a bolt that fit almost perfectly. Oh. And so I put the bolt in and put a nut on the back side. Oh, okay. So. Doesn't it make your table stronger? The rock on. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think yours, yeah. Steve, yours is so. rock on. He's got to split out front. Mine yeah, mine's, mine yeah. runs with the blade. Uh, this this uh, has to be mounted out on a couple of rods. It's got to set back. Yeah. 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 Ah, so excellent. excellent. Well, that would make it easier getting the blade on. Well, it does. It yeah. does yeah. easier. Yeah, the blade is easier. But I know I don't have this thing true to oh, yeah. 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 Mine. Well, you yeah. oh, What I did was took a straight edge, took a brand new got this thing running here as center as I could get it, <laughs> and then I put a straight edge like across my, this my blade like this, that way after you <laughs> from the and got between two teeth so I wasn't riding on a high tooth. And I, I found my, and I tried to get the table squared with the blade, so this miter slot is square with the blade. Then, if the guide is not square, I square it to the miter slot. Okay. Now, I do everything with tape measure. There's some folks in here that use uh, micrometers and stuff. <laughs> Calipers. <laughs> that requires math. That really yeah, does. Uh, hey, so, that's a setup tool. And, 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 that's and not a, it's not a shop tool. That's and, a setup and, tool. A setup and tool. the understanding right. of metric, because most of them are metric. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got a, what is it, a dial indicator? I've got one of those. And I think Probably. I've used it one time. <laughs> and didn't know what the hell I was doing. So you so I was doing it. Yeah. So. Was I was I was so 
the uh, every saw is going to have a different setup on the on the guys. This one uses a, a hex, a five millimeter hex, and you you loosen this, and then you you can turn this, and what it does it walks it in and out. Yeah, it's got a, a little cam, yeah. cam in the back. So you see how far I'm away from the blade right there? Yeah, <clears throat> it's almost touching now. Well, not yet, because I, I moved it away. So I, I move it down and touch it. Yeah. And then come off just a little, they say a piece of paper with. Okay. So you don't want it touching and riding the whole time. To be able to pull the paper out. Pull the paper out. About three pounds. And see now I can I'm turning that bearing and it's moving the blade, so that means I've got it too tight. There we go. Are you in tension? Hmm? Are you in tension? Your your blade, blade tension? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's as tight as I can get. Uh, oh come on. And do you normally leave it out of tension when it's not in use? I don't. I leave mine tension all the time. Tank tension all the time. Really? So, yeah. Wow. I, well, I, I got always that, forget. I got that old Parmatic. It's a, it's a 1960 model. I forget. Model. To take it out of tension. <clears throat> I always I, take it out. I've, I've gotten in the habit. I take mine out of tension. Out of tension. I don't. No. I don't have that option. I don't either on, the, on yeah. that saw. I do on this saw, just a matter of flipping a lever. That's yeah. the, and uh, why I'm lazy and don't do it, I don't yeah. know, but I just don't. I just don't want You got used to using that one. I'm, well, I use that one. I prop, no, now that I've got this one, I start cutting wood up. I'll show you some wood that I'm cutting up with. Um, I found a northern cedar tree uh, on some property, 125 years old. Is that what this is? About wow. this big around. You smell? Yeah, that's it, right there. I smell it. So I cut, I cut this up with this. Mm. Now, the blade I was using, I should have took off because I spent the time to sharpen it. And I did what Johnny did. I was cutting some stuff two times. Had a brand new blade. Cutting a piece of dogwood, got it cut in half, and I set one of them up here, and it fell over. Ooh. And hit the blade. Oh no! Yeah, and it it screwed the blade up. Yeah. Did it crank? Can't put a kink in. Oh it? god! I, yeah, I thought I could get it out. No. I've done that before, <laughs> but there's no way because it it moved it this way about five eighths of an inch. Oh, oh lord! So oh. it was it was way way too much. Yeah. So I Mine just it's in the bottom sparks. of our trash can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here's what. Mine starts shooting sparks. Yes. Oh wow! The carbide started cutting into the. Blade guy. Oh, oh, oh wow. Yep. Yep. I have a carbide tooth blade on yep. mine and it starts cutting. I'm, I'm going to seriously look at that and, and, and maybe go to carbide. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting these blades for. Bring your pocketbook. Yeah. I think, that, that's right. I think it's 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, um, is it a Linux blade? Oh, or yeah, a yeah, it's a Linux. Linux I'm not going to go. You know, I'm going to go back to a It depends on what I'm cutting. If I'm right. cutting yeah. good, clean, I like those steric blades. Dried wood. A Laguna Master you beat them good, good, good wild. Mm -hmm. But when you start cutting up logs like I'm, I'm doing, preparing, in fact, I've got a piece of cedar over there. I'll show you what, what, how I cut that up. Really I cut it up with the band saw, so I get it on this saw, and then oh, I one inch. cut it up on this saw. What I got now is one of them. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah. <laughs> so this is this is what I do with this. Uh, is just cut up big stuff. I've got a piece of eight quarter black limbo over against the uh, the fan. I'm going to cut up into probably half inch slabs. Uh, real real pretty stuff, though. All right. Set, setting the guides up. We digress. Keep going. <laughs> Back to the song. You hardly have any movement, any movement in that at all. So snug everything down. I can actually come a little forward on that. Well, I guess I got a two side. Oh, I bet I have this. Your post. 
if you tighten the post. That makes it That's this part. Now you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I saw it wiggling, and I know it ain't supposed to be wiggling. Hey, Mike, just tell me anybody doing the post tight. <laughs> right. Tension and then tighten the post first. Tighten the post first. <laughs> Did you see it straighten up? Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> this works for people like him, aren't they? <laughs> now one thing I I only because I've been there. <laughs> never turn your bandsaw on without the doors on. Oh hell no! Oh no! Oh, oh, no. no. If that, if that blade comes off and, and you're up in here, yeah, you're dead. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. You up. yeah that yeah. blade will cut sure. you in half before you can touch it. Yeah. <laughs> so we got all the safety switches on the door. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You got? I got safety switches on Do both you? doors. Uh, yeah. Did you put them on there? No, or? hell no, it, it came on there. Okay. So if you open the door, that's that yeah. kills power. Yeah. 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 And step on the brake. Yeah. yeah. And step on the brake. Yeah, that's you step on the brake, it stops it stops oh, the motor. Okay. Oh, it stopped. Okay. Yeah, 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 they all run through a safety, safety switch. Got a safety mm -hmm. switch there too, So you got an electric brake on your motor? No, it's a foot brake. Foot brake. But as soon as you touch the brake, it kills the motor. Oh, okay. Oh, these are all harder to adjust. Okay. But uh, yeah, one of the most dangerous they, they don't the same way. Oh, so. There's There's a lot of those guys yeah, work from. Everything they won't. Now, if you get it riding in the right place here, is it automatically down there? No. 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 So you got to get it here, then do it there, and yep. then when you do it there, it's going to throw it out. The guides. No. The guides. Now, the, the, guides the, should be okay. the blade will run in the right place normally yeah. if they're co planer, which should have been set at the factory, and you don't oh, ever okay. mess with that. All right. But. Uh, as long as this is tracking right, and Mike didn't go into tracking, but if, if it's tracking correctly. I did uh, write it first. <laughs> didn't miss that part. Like with that post lock, right? <laughs> but uh, if it's tracking right, the blade, the, whatever you set on top will hey, follow on we'll the bottom. Follow. We'll follow. Yeah. Yeah. So you should never have to touch okay, that. Okay, I'll video. shut up. Yeah. No, no. And if, you, and if it doesn't, you got a bad bearing somewhere. Yeah, right. Okay. Now, if you've got bearing issues or. Yeah. It'll walk all over. You drop the saw maybe, and and it's not coplanar anymore. Yeah. It it'll run off. Okay. Do you know what the speed on this blade is? I've got two two step pulleys. Two step pulleys. Oh, you got two? Yeah. I, I don't think I do. And uh, what's a step pulley? It's just a two way different sizes. Speed. Two yeah. speed. You got a, a pulley yeah. here that the belt's not in. That's why I the back side of the asked wheel. you about yeah. Steve. Oh, you got yeah, another okay. one back there. So okay. where I have it on the smaller pulley, it's running it fast. Right. So okay. if I put it up here, it'd have more power, but it would run slow. Okay. And you got yours wired on 220? Yes. Came that way. Came that yeah. way. Okay, you got a big motor. And if you can, you want to do that because it's going to give you a lot more torque. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. So I mean, table it's, saw. It's a whole different mode. You don't have to go as far to get the full load amps. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. More volts. Yeah. yeah, I cut the amps in half. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you, you increase the torque. Of the motor. Increase the torque. Right. right. That's correct. Yeah. Three phase even better. Yeah. Yes. I was cutting down some well, old yes, wood yes. real hard on that table saw with the full <laughs> curved blade and, and going real yeah. slow, and it was still pop the breaker. Hmm. You know, so I'd have to cut it, reset, and cut it. It took a long time to cut through there. So I think I need to go with like a really thin curved blade, probably when doing hard stuff check like that. Check your wire and check your hardware. Yeah. You have an amp meter you can put on your motor. To see yeah. What it's, well, check your amp on your motor. Yeah. yeah. You may have bad wiring yeah. running across and, the floor. And you may not have enough enough wire size. Wire size. To carry yeah. the load. That's be true. Warming those yeah. things up. Yeah. 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 Up, pop the breaker. Yep. You know, uh, look number, at the motor label and see what the yep. motor label says. Yeah, what is good. Number 12 is good for 20 amps, number 10 is good for 30. You talking about your bandsaw? No, the table saw. Oh, okay, okay. How many horsepower do you have? It's 15 amp motor, that's all I know. I okay, know so it's horsepower. two horse. Yeah, two horse. Two about two horse, horse yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's a rigid one and three quarter, saw, yeah. two. Yeah. One, at 110, about two horse. 
Oh, and, 110? And, it, and you can go both ways. It came 110. I'm using it 110. Yeah. But I can I can rewire it and run it on 220. <laughs> See, there's a hole in most of these breakers here. Right. You turn the wheel by hand, Mike. Always turn your wheel by hand. Make sure it's, yeah. everything's loose and free. And yeah. You didn't leave something under there. And, and ready to go. Yeah. Run a wire in between these holes. Every once in a while, you, if you don't do that, you turn it on and the motor goes. I just call my mm -hmm. <laughs> Enough screwdriver. Not a good thing. I, I don't and then what you said about the flood? No, I don't want to pay one. Well, that's that's sure that's, that's to to, to uh, adjust your tension. Tension. Yeah. tension. Okay. You yeah. do that without your blade guides in in position. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Something I do. Don't laugh at the work. No, that's right. That's amazing. Oh, I mean, Probably well, no kidding. Uh -huh. What? Break my foot to get up. No, I was just going to find something that I need to cut. Uh -huh. Is there a thrust bearing on that bottom? Uh, yes. Look at that and see if you're rubbing it. I'm not. You're not? You sure? Yep. Okay. That, that sounded like what mine sounds like when I was rubbing mine. Let's try it out the other way. Like that? Yeah. I'll probably flip it over. Is this uh, flatter? Uh -huh. okay. It just works. Oh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. That looks safe. <laughs> All right, Jake. Don't use your remaining cushion. Yeah. Cushion. Oh, it's, do it the way they you might not want that. No, I need a uh, push stick. Push stick. Excuse me, finger. No, real quick. Did you see David's slow motion of him my, cutting the yeah. wheel? The remote. Ah. Yeah, I'm going to go So it got dull and I just sharpened it. So is that the surface you just cut? <coughs> no, this one. Okay. Maybe off the tad. Fix the say that. No, this one's cut. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is cut the bottom off of it so I can chuck it up on the lathe and turn oh, yeah. uh, around. Yeah. So, you gonna say that piece? You're not gonna throw it away, are you? What piece? That piece you're fixing to cut off. Door <laughs> side.
under all that screwdriver and stuff? The, on the on, on, on the, the shelf of the bank of uh, the drill press. Right there. And the, oh, that's the picture. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm hoping to turn some. Oh wow. Oh wow. wow. All right. Well, that's when yeah. Is that called a finial? <laughs> right. Oh that's that's uh Finial is usually a finished point. Yeah, it's or, it's or, usually the top. I, the top point. A I, I call it a stem. Okay, stem. Okay. Yeah. The whole thing? Top, bottom? Uh, now, that's setting up this one. Do you have one this size? Uh, yeah, I bought the uh, Rikon. He's got the uh -huh. big, yeah. Uh, 10, 14. 326. Yeah, there's a 14. Yeah. Bottom, bottom, bottom. He's got, got the same. You. He got the new version of what I got. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, you saw mine. It's basically yep. the same. Awesome. Yours is six. It has got a 12 inch cup capacity? 13 and change. 13. Yeah, Look I, can get, I can get about 13 and 10. I don't think I can yeah. quite get 12 inches. I can get like 11, 7 inches. Yeah. So, but I, I've used the fire out of it. I mean, I just, once I got this one, I almost don't need that one except I'd be changing blades all the time. Yeah. Because I keep a quarter inch on that and I'm fixing to try a 316. A I like Ooh. a. I like a skip tooth blade, yeah. mm -hmm. and you can't find a quarter inch blade in a skip tooth. You order them, and they send you a hook blade, and it, it's too aggressive for mm -hmm. my liking. So I guess when I, I guess I could take them out of the What's box. What's the name of that thing? Blade something on line? Blades Direct, but there's somebody else. Blades line. Direct, yeah. Yeah, it's all Blades Direct. Uh, That's who I just, I've got seven blades up there that were delivered today. And I thought I had ordered them for this, but I think I ordered them for that. How big is that blade? 131 and a half. Have you ever heard of Atura, Lewis Atura? Yes, I've, I've got a book. Yeah, he he put, he has a, a bandsaw book that he sends out whenever you order something from him and tells you all about tuning up and, you know, he, he sells guides and... And he goes through the setup process in great detail. Oh, yeah. And... He is probably the foremost authority on bandsaw. In the United States. In the United oh, States. Wow. Yeah. What's the name again? Louis Atura. Atura, okay. Yeah. Um, I think it's Intura, isn't it? I T U R R A. Yeah. You got it on Atura. your phone? And you Yeah. You oh, just, just, hold, just hold it right there, I'll zoom in. You have to call him because he doesn't have a website and he doesn't do any social media. Oh, wow. Yeah. Just just hold it, I got it. But you can order more little catalogs. In fact, I meant to find the one that I have and bring it out here. I'll, yeah, I'll bring right mine. Yours. Okay. You know, I've got mine in the shop, but okay. I use it religiously, and you know, I've called and asked him for blades for my bigger saw, and he says, you know, I, I can't do that, but go here. Yeah. You know, I mean, he's not. He's really good. Yeah. 